make sure to clean around the cap before removing it, as you do not want to get any dirt into the reservoir. Remove the brake reservoir cap, then using a fluid extractor, remove all the fluid from the reservoir. Reinstall the cap to prevent any debris from entering the reservoir. Then remove the fluid level sensor electrical connector by releasing the locking tab, green arrow, and pulling it off. Be sure the vehicle key is off for at least 15 minutes. Then disconnect the three electrical connector junctions, green arrows, at the master cylinder by unscrewing them counterclockwise. Pull the wire out of the mounts to access the connector junction release tabs. You can leave the zip tie green arrow in place. Using a small flathead screwdriver, release the connector junction release tabs green arrows by levering them towards the master cylinder. Pull up on the junction to detach it from the fuse panel while holding the tabs in the release position. Lift the junction up and move it towards the front of the vehicle to gain access to the rear brake line. Use an 11mm line wrench and loosen the rear brake line, green arrow. Using a 12mm line wrench, loosen the front brake line, green arrow. Using a 13mm socket on an extension, remove both brake master cylinder nuts, green arrows. Once you remove the nuts, lift the master cylinder off of the brake booster while pulling the lines out of the threaded bores. You will have to pull it away from the booster to break the vacuum seal on the booster. The next few steps only have to be performed if your new master cylinder did not come with a reservoir installed. Using a T25 torque bit, remove the brake fluid reservoir mounting bolt, green arrow. You can now lift the reservoir up to detach it from the master cylinder. Once detached, install in the reverse order of removing. Install the new master cylinder to the brake booster. Install the nuts finger tight, leaving them loose for now. Install the brake lines by hand. Be sure not to cross thread them. The line should easily thread into the new master cylinder. Once the lines are finger tight, tighten the mounting nuts and then the lines. Bleed the brake system and test your brakes before taking the vehicle out for a drive. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without properly bleeding the brake system. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.